Hey y'all, like always, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome any new viewers. And I also want to let y'all know I appreciate y'all tuning into my channel every week or every video because I do two a week because it shows me that you're interested in what I'm doing and it helps it does also help my channel to grow so today we are going to be making a little storage bin and it container not bin and if you follow me on social media you'll have seen the list that's needed for this project which you can also get that list on the community tab so all right y'all let's get to this so I'm gonna show y'all what's needed now I am using a Thrive Life container you don't have to you can use anyone that you have a soup can a veggie can or something this size that you just happen to have but this is what I'm using all right I'm gonna be using Mod Podge and a sponge broom brush not broom I don't know where I got broom from I'm also gonna be using some sandpaper and then I'm going to be using this fall napkin you can use whatever you want you can use paper I just found that napkins seem to work best for this kind of project all right y'all let's get to it okay so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to clean off the container that means taking off any paper that is on it and I forgot to mention you might want to use some wipes to help you get stuff off if you have anything written on it so I'm going to be doing that also, but first I have to get the glue off. So. That is what I'm going to be doing now. Sorry. So you can also probably use a heat gun or, or a hair dryer or whatever you want to help heat up the glue to get it off faster or easier, I should say. But I'm just going to do it this way and see how it works. Because you don't need glue on it. Because it'll interfere with the Mod Podge and it'll also make it... Um, lumpy instead of smooth when you go to put your stuff on here I hope I'm making sense to y'all sometimes it's in my head and it sounds good and then when I say it it's like what did I just say so this seems to be working okay so I'm going to just continue to use it And I'll clean it up more later when I get it all off. Now I have made these before and I've used wipes and um, sanding block I think it was. It helps get the glue off or sandpaper it sands the glue off. I feel like that's what I used. So I'm just going to run this over it. Because I don't want the glue sticky. So, and then it rolls right through all the stuff I just got off of it, of course, because I didn't throw it away. I'm 
I'm just double checking and making sure I got it all and cleaning it up some because you don't want the sandpaper stuck on there either. You want all that cleaned off, all the little debris. Alright, give me a second. Alright, so while y'all are doing this, please be careful because look, they do have sharp spots in cans and I touched a little too tight and I cut myself. So, please be careful while doing this so that you don't get hurt. Alright, so I just want to show y'all before I put a bandaid on there so y'all knew. Alright, so... That is done. Now, what I'm going to do, and I probably should have done it first, but I want to get that done, is I'm going to sand this rim on the inside because it is sharp, as you know. I just cut myself. And I want to sand it till it's just not sharp anymore. It doesn't feel too sharp. But I'm going to keep going just to make sure because I don't want any problems. See, I'm going around and I ain't cut myself yet. But. I just like to make sure. If you're gonna do this with so the inside like this, if you have something like this, or just the edges of a can, if you use a regular can opener, cause they are really sharp. And you don't want anybody to get hurt. Or even if the can's a pop top, it is very sharp. Okay, that feels good to me. So now we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do after you clean up your uh, can and you know, dull down the sharp edges is you're gonna take whatever napkin you pick if that's what you choose. And you're going to Separate the back from it because, as you can see, give me a second, most napkins that I've had are like that, and then I have to glue both, and I just don't want to do that when I can just take this off. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take this, and we're going to see where we need to cut it at. We can measure and do that, I'm sorry. I just usually cut... I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I just usually figure it out and cut, hold on. Okay, so the, you, the reason why I usually eyeball it is because I'll measure it and the measurements don't work the way I want. So, it is about five and a half inches, this can. I'm sorry y'all, I'm having problems now. I'm trying to show y'all, okay. It's about five and a little less than five and a half inches, but I'm going to cut it at five and a half inches. Let me show y'all. So that I have a little extra to work with. So. I'm going to take my little ruler and I'm going to draw a line. 
this way, y'all. I lose everything. I was about sure that's where I marked it. But then I didn't see it, so, you know, I get confused sometimes. So we're going to take our ruler. And we drew a line across. And now we're going to cut it so that we can work with that. Now, of course, if you're not using the same can, yours probably isn't going to be the same length as mine, height as mine, whatever you want to call it, not length. So, you can't really use my measurements. Right. You can always save this piece for something else. So, don't ever get rid of what you don't use. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Mod Podge, now that I did that, and I'm going to start painting my um, can. I got through my posh so fast y'all and what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna stop as I'm working and um, attach it on there so it doesn't dry so And this is one of those ones where I'm not going to mind too much if it's wrinkly because it, mine does have little bumps and grooves. But I'm just going to slowly work it around it. Right here, it didn't get very good. So, oops. Oh well, I'm not worried about it. I can patch it up later. And apparently, I've done this before, but I forgot. Obviously, I'm going to need more than one napkin. So, let me get this going. And I'm just going to continue to work it around it like I've been doing. And you got to be careful because it is very thin, the napkin. You can tear it up like I just did, but that's fine. Just gives it some different, a different look. So I'm not too concerned that I accidentally ripped it. So I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to stop here because I don't want to go too far. But at the same time, I want to make sure I get it right. Because I'm, I'm going to have to add another napkin. So let me get that 
situated. So like I said, I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to go ahead and go around because I showed you what to do. No, you know what? I am going to cut it. Never mind. I am going to cut it. Let me, let me do this the right way, y'all. the actual right way. <laughs> Do I? I'm sorry y'all. I do something that I forget it's not facing the right way. Alright, so then it's a little crooked but that's fine. I'm not complaining. real quick. Sorry if I'm out of camera. Alright. Now let's continue what we were doing. being hard like cut it like that. I've done this before and never had problems. There we go. I'll make it work y'all. <laughs> this gets glued down because we're going to be laying the next one right on top of it just to cover up the edge because we're not ready for this edge right here so let's do that we're not too bad Actually, I'm just going to cover the edges up, period. We're not going to do the edge at all because it's not that much that needs to be done. I thought it was bigger than that. So, but... Give me a second. I'm not... If I'm covering up the edge, I'm going to cover up the edge. I didn't think that through very well. Do this. That's the way. Yeah. Add a little bit to here so that I can cover this a little. Pull up. And it's fine. Alright. So, now I'm going to cut as carefully as I can this off because i got to go around. I'm just going to cut it and if it's not perfect 
is fine. It still looks really cute. Now I gotta go around and I gotta cut, not cut, uh, cover it with Mod Podge around the whole thing. And then we just gotta wait for it to dry, so. And I'm gonna do it very carefully because I don't want to tear up the napkin. So. I'm just gonna very lightly go through and put my pudge around it. I'm just gonna make sure this is my pudge down. This gives it a protected seal that helps keep the napkin or paper or whatever you're using from tearing up once it dries and hardens. It's supposed to dry clear, but we will see when it is done how it comes out looking. face and I can't wipe it out of my face because I don't want to get Mod Podge in my hair. So. Alright, now that this is Mod Podge, we're going to let it dry and then I'll show you what it looks like once it is dry. Just gonna try to, you know, carefully, carefully smooth out some of the uh, cover. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. Now, I forgot to do something, so I'm gonna show y'all how to do it real quick. It does not take much. You have something like permanent marker wrote on the lid if you have a lid. Or just any, you know, when you're doing these projects, if you have that, you just take a baby wipe and it comes right off. Look at that. I don't really know how permanent permanent marker is if you can do this, but you know, it's all good. Look at that. Nice and clean. So, I mean, you can still see a faint, I don't know if I showed y'all, but you can still see a faint thing of the words, but, or letters, but it's fine, it's clean. Now we're going to let all this dry, and then I'll show you the rest of it. Alright y'all, it is dry, at least it feels dry to me. So I'm going to take my sandpaper and I'm going to lightly go over the spots that are too big. Not too big, but that are not glued down because they go past where I want them to be. That's what I was trying to say. And just try to get them off. tell you right now if something happens and it breaks and rips it's fine it just makes it look more used so you just want to go over them lightly And clean it up. Oh. 
Because when I see this, what it tells me is either I didn't get Mod Podge there or it dried before I put the napkin on it. So it's okay. Oops, that was my bad. <laughs> I'm going to do the bottom too because some of it went over the bottom and I don't want that. If it gives me too much problem, I'm going to take scissors and I'll cut. And then I'm done with it. Alright, so. try to fix that because I didn't mean to do that but all right y'all so I told y'all I would show y'all other examples that I did with the can I did a Halloween napkin one and I did a spring one and as you can see they came out looking great and I thought I had I thought I had a paper one but I don't but like I said you can still use the paper you just got to cut it to make sure it fits and they come out looking amazing and as you can see, it is done, and it looks really cute, and I love how the gold comes through the napkin, and just gives it an extra sheen. So I am very happy with this. I love how it came out. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. So please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, because it does help my channel to grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!